Hey there everyone, it's really good to see you joining me here up in the loft in Way Yard. And we're going to be doing something just a little bit different here today. And uh, what I want to do is review a product that I've got hold of. And this is the Deluxe Materials Solid Water. So I see it here in the box. And uh, well, what do you get in the box? Solid water does seem a bit of an oxymoron. Let's take a look. So I've got out of the box the contents and you get in the plastic bag this two-part resin kit from uh, Deluxe Materials and um, the idea behind this is it's for casting water. So you mix together these two different chemicals and they react with each other to uh, cause the resin to set. So a bit like fiberglass resin, that kind of thing. But in this particular case, they've been formulated for two important things. One of which that when it sets, it sets completely clear. So you get this lovely see-through transparent solid water effect. And the other thing as well is it's been formulated for low odor. And that means when you're working in an enclosed environment like in here, you're not gonna get any fumes that are gonna cause you to become ill or lightheaded. And that's really, really important. So. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how you mix these up and let's see what kind of a result we're going to get with them. Well, what we've got here is the two different parts. You get the actual resin here in this darker plastic bottle and then you get the hardener which is kind of a catalyst but it's also like a gel and the idea is that you mix these in pretty much the ratio you see here. So it's two parts of the resin to one part hardener. And it does tell you on the box, there's a handy little chart on the side here, which tells you all of this information, gives you an idea of the amount of coverage that you're gonna get out of this, which is really important for planning how much that you need. And uh, it gives you here a little idea of just how long it's going to take to fully cure. So it says here 18 hours to fully cured. But of course, you know, it's not mobile by three and a half hours, so it becomes a sort of soft gel. So we're going to assume here that you've prepared, as I have, the actual stream bed. And it's really important to make sure that it is actually watertight, because otherwise what you don't want is to pour this stuff in and it just all come out the bottom. But a top tip for you, if you do get any leaks once you've started the pour, then it's uh, a good idea to have handy some of this material, which is the shaper sheet, which is a plaster pre-impregnated bandage, and have a bit of water on hand. And if you wet uh, a small little square of this down and press it over where you've got any of the resin starting to seep through the base, this stuff sets very, very quickly and it will set despite getting soaked in the resin. So top tip for you just to try and plug any leaks that uh, might uh, spring up. The kit comes with uh, a couple of uh, clean little syringes here if you want to measure out smaller amounts than the entire amount. And it also comes with these mixing cups as well. Uh, also got one of these little spatulas. I do like these. They remind me of when I was at school spreading the old PVA round and about. And these are really important for getting a good mix. And you want to make sure that the hardener and the resin are well mixed together because if they're not, what you will find is that your resin will never set properly. You'll have some bits that go very, very hard and other bits that re retain that kind of soft, sticky effect, and it's not what you want. So mixing this, take your time and make sure that you mix it thoroughly. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pour out uh, an amount of resin and of hardener. And then what I've got here is I've got a bigger vessel. These are just plastic disposable cups of the sort that you'd get for a party. And I'm going to be tipping the resin and the hardener into here to be able to mix it and then tip it into the stream bed. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. The little measuring tubs here have a measure on the side. So we've got up to 100 millilitres there on the bigger one 
and the little one goes up to 60 millilitres but we'll only be taking it to the 50 so we get the two parts resin to the one part hardener. So I'm going to go ahead very carefully tip this out, measure that up to the 100 mil mark, make sure you always put the lid back on because you don't want to knock these over and spill them and then we're going to go with the hardener here we're going to mix that up to 50 and that will give our two parts resin to one part hardener again put the lid on there and then what we're going to do is tip the resin in here it is actually quite thick and syrupy so uh, just takes a little bit of time to get all that out from there and then we're going to go ahead and mix the hardener in. Now you get plenty of time on this it has to be said because uh, well this takes 18 hours to fully set so don't worry about it setting rock hard before you've had time to work it you're not pushed for time at all and that is one of the beauties of this product that time is very much on your side. So we're going to get this stirrer in and I'm going to spend a few minutes stirring this because like I said to you before you have to make sure that this is fully and, and uh, uniformly mixed otherwise you're going to get problems with your resin setting in places and staying liquid in others and that is really something that you do not want. So I'm just going to spend a few minutes making sure that this is well mixed. Well, I've got this mixed here. I've been stirring this up for about five, six minutes. So I've got that thoroughly mixed all the way through. The next job is we're going to tip this into the riverbed. So we've got our stream bed down here. We've got our mixed up solid water. It's quite simply a case of we're going to tip this in and just make sure you don't drip any over the surrounding scenery. So let's go ahead and let's tip that on in. Now it is self leveling so what you should see is that it will flow and find its own level to make sure it's not leaking through underneath and there you have it. So we'll come back here the following day and as you can see solid as a rock. So there you have it, Deluxe Materials Solid Water. In my opinion actually this is a really good product and I'm pleased to have been able to have had the opportunity to show you uh, how this, this product works and uh, really for me the big plus points are the really low odour. So we're up here in quite an enclosed space on a warm day and we're getting no ill feelings off the uh, fumes from the uh, solid water. In fact, there aren't really any fumes to speak of whatsoever. The instructions on the box are really, really clear and easy to follow. And I found no problems at all at getting those uh, resin and hardener well mixed together and then tipped into the stream base. Really, the only thing you have to watch out for is to make sure that where you're putting the solid water, you make sure that that's watertight. And if you do get any minor leaks, then it won't be for very long. And unless it's really just pouring through, then uh, think about trying some of the uh, shaper sheet plaster bandage to be able to just wet that and try and plug some of those leaks if they're minor. And those leaks will just solidify in and of themselves. Well, I hope this has been really informative to you. Don't forget to like this video and share it too. And also subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. And you'll be the first to know about new videos as and when they go up. But thanks again for watching. It's been really good to have your company. Don't forget, you can head on over to Patreon if you want to support the channel and help us make more videos like this. But until next time, this is me, Jenny Kirk, saying you take really good care of yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Today's video has been brought to you in part thanks to the generous donation of my fans on Patreon. And a huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Mark Anthony, Michael Churchwood, Bob Threeton, Alec Ralph, Anthony Hunt, William Wade, Wayne Johns and Offshore Allen. If you'd like to help support the show, head on over to patreon.com slash Jennifer Kirk. Thank you.
Today's video has been brought to you by my books Bringing Home the Stars, Twinkle Little Star and also you can get the complete comic collections of All Over the House Books 1, Books 2 and also the wacky zany Life of Knobty Mouse. Thanks and catch you later.